Welcome everybody to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. First of all, we have some very important guests to welcome. You'll no notice three empty rows at the front. So please can I ask you to be on your feet and put your hands together for the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Our year 13 students arrive at the end of their Dover Court school careers today. And I wanted to take the opportunity to reflect on the ingredients it has taken for them to become the impressive young people before us here. Firstly, I think it's important for us to recognise the role of your parents and guardians. It's fair to say they deserve huge thanks and gratitude with a round of applause. I can see our year 13s wondering when they get their mention in all of this. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. I'm just saving the best till last. So, the most important ingredient for becoming these incredible young people is you yourselves. You should be incredibly proud of how far you have come. You now go on to various next adventures, and I encourage you to embark on those with excitement for the opportunities ahead, confidence in what you can achieve, and hope for what your future holds. Class of 2022, we wish you the very best of luck. Your Excellency, Dover Court families, friends, colleagues, and graduating students. It's an absolute delight and a privilege to speak in honour of the fine young people sat with us here today on this glorious May afternoon. This is a very special day for our graduates, and we're, we're very proud of them. Graduates, you won't remember being babies, of course, but your parents do remember. And to them, you will always be their babies when you're 25, when you're 35, when you're 45. Do remember that. Despite everyone's confidence that you're the best that you can be, it's traditional at graduations for people like me to offer a few final words of advice. Wear sunscreen, floss your teeth, phone home, go to bed early, eat well, exercise, don't talk to strangers. This is your time, it's your decade, it's about to start. So make it happen for you. Don't just let it happen to you. Seize the decade, seize your life. The graduates of Dover Court International School, year 13 of 2022, thank you for spending your time with us in the past few years. Thank you for listening this afternoon. Many congratulations. You go with the best wishes of all of us here for a future of happiness, fulfillment, and success. I'd like to invite Her Excellency Cara Owen, British High Commissioner to Singapore, to offer a few words to our graduates. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this really special uh, moment. I can absolutely tell from what the teachers have been saying about you how incredibly proud they are of you. And I, in my turn, am super proud of Dover Court. Now, on advice, um, my dad used to say, advice is free and anything that's free is a bit worthless. Um, but I'm still going to offer you some. Things don't always go to plan. And it's super important that you find a way of coping with that. Lucky breaks aren't guaranteed in life, but you've got to be open 
to be able to spot them and to be able to pounce on them as soon as they emerge. Take advantage of uh, all those opportunities uh, to learn just as hard as you have done at school. Make every single day a learning day. Stay curious and stay open. So with those words, I don't know how useful they are, uh, but that is what I wanted to share with you. I'd like to say, class of 2022, year 13, uh, enormous congratulations and best of luck. Right, so the first student is Fatima, Fatima Ansar. So Fatima is perhaps the only student who ever wanted me to talk to a teacher so she can get even more feedback. Uh, she loves a candy cane and being involved in absolutely everything the school has to offer. Congratulations. Right, the next student, so Jun Han Chong, um, an aspiring bodybuilder to some success. Um, a chameleon of uh, a tiger print hair over the years, um, but more importantly, Junan has a passion and a, is a fierce debater when influencing change for the better. So, congratulations. And finally, right, so Aini Zhu. So, Aini's a fashionista and the expert in gifting in the year group, really good advice that she's given me. More importantly, Aini's compassion for others and forward thinking have changed DCIS for the better during her tenure as co head student. For the final part of uh, this evening's graduation ceremony, um, I'd like to invite up uh, Fatima and Aini, two of our uh, graduating students who are going to speak to you and close the ceremony. Good evening parents, teachers and fellow graduates. Firstly, congratulations on completing two years of the IBDP and BTEC program. Tonight, we're here to celebrate each other's victories and show gratitude to all those who guided us along the way. Our teachers are a symbol of our strength and have been a wonderful source of support for us all. We've experienced all ups and downs, but the important aspect is the memories we created as a cohort. For example, the memorable Borneo trip, well-being sessions, drop-down days, and definitely our lunchtime UNO games. Today, we say goodbye to Dover Court. This is a huge and very important step into a new, incredible life that will bring us different emotions and experiences. We celebrated each other's successes, our own, and we'll, we will forever continue to do so. Thank you so much parents, uh, graduates, and teachers for joining us tonight. Now we would like to welcome everybody to the, to the dining area for a celebration drink. Thank you. Thank you.